So the Fed has finally announced that they're raising rates. Now, what does that mean for you? So the common perception is that when the Fed raises rates, mortgage rates go up, which is pretty much usually the case. But when the Fed raises rates, what they're actually raising is called the federal funds rate. Now, the federal funds rate is what banks charge to lend money to each other. So the Fed uses this as a tool to regulate the supply and demand in the economy. So basically, when this rate is raised, banks will raise their prices um, for various things, including mortgages, including credit card loans, including car loans. And it's a way just to curtail the demand in the economy. The Fed's main job is to regulate the supply and demand in the economy. Things are running too hot. The Fed says we have to raise these prices a little bit, the federal funds rate, just to decrease uh, the demand in the economy. There's demand for everything these days, and not just housing, but for cars. If you're trying to buy a car, there's really nothing available. Prices are very high. Uh, furniture, you name it. Um, everything's running very hot right now. There's a lot of money circulating in the economy. So what this means exactly for housing is we can expect with reasonable certainty that mortgage rates will continue to go up. Um, the Fed raises rates gradually. This time they raised it a quarter point, but they also penciled in six increases throughout the year. The Fed meets every six weeks or so. And when that happens, um, things will just get more expensive for banks um, and in turn for mortgages. So if you're a buyer, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that um, you're locking in a low mortgage rate. Um, we've kind of been a dead horse with this, but if you wait more, you pay more. So the idea is you wanna get your um, mortgage rate locked in before rates keep going up based on the rates that banks are gonna be charged. If you're a seller, you may consider accelerating your plans. Now, it takes a little bit of time for this to ripple through the economy, these changes. Um, we expect mortgage rates to go up before prices will go down. But if you're a seller, you should definitely um, use this as to your advantage because a lot of people think when the Fed raises rates that mortgage rates are automatically going to go up. And you can pretty much use this as an advantage um, to really get the highest price for your home. And um, if you're thinking of selling, you might want to think about uh, pushing up your plans and um, sort, sort of start getting organized in that respect. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions on that. This is just a basic video. Um, this topic is very complex. So if you have more questions, um, feel free to um, um, ask me any questions. But um, again, this is just an overview. And um, you can just let me know if you have any questions or if you want to discuss this at a deeper level. Have a great weekend. Stay safe.